Hi, good afternoon, everyone. Sorry, let me just check. <laughs> Naligaw po ata. I think I'm live. Hello, good afternoon, everyone. Um, just a second, let me just fix uh, my audio kasi may mga nag-aisale. <laughs> Okay, so hello, hello, good afternoon everyone. Um, I know it's like, you know, <laughs> the wee hours, no? Kasi ito yung oras na siesta, but uh, thank you so much po for joining me on this webinar. Okay, ayan, kita ko na po ang live. Alright, good afternoon. So ayan, um, let me just check. Wait lang, imungit ko lang yung aking phone. Um, I just want to see, you know, like real-time comments. So, ayan. Thank you. Thank you, ayan. Sige, lagay niyo lang din po kung, kung taga saan po kayo, no? Para we can see. Um, and we can do a shout out. So, ayan. So, si Mildred from Tai Tai Rizal. Si Lourdes. Um, sige, lalaki nga pa na yung screen ko. Hindi <laughs> ko kasi makita lahat ng comments. So, I don't think I will be able to see it, but um, yeah, I'll just use my phone. So, yeah. Yeah, meron din po tayo taga Mora, taga Santa Ana. Yeah, thank you so much for watching. Okay, so, um, so for today, we are going to um, discuss about the introduction to virtual assistants. And month B po natin ito ginagawa just like um, yung ginagawa po ni MK, right? So, yan. So, monthly po tayo na merong webinar and introductions about not just, you know, not just for, ano naman po, for virtual assistants, but um, for all the courses. So, for today, um, every first Friday po of the month is the um, webinar for the general virtual assistants. Ayan. Hello from, ayan, magbabati po muna ako. Um, ng mga nanonood habang hinihintay ko yung presentation ko. Okay. Ayan, from Quezon, from Batangas, from Antipolo, uh, from Cavite, from Quezon, uh, from Mandaluyong, from Las Piñas, from Pagbilaw, Quezon, wow. Okay. Uh, meron din tayong taga Nueva Ecija and Antipolo City. Wala pa tayong taga Laguna dyan. <laughs> Naghanap na taga Laguna. Kasi I'm from Laguna po. So, <laughs> Um, baka meron tayong mga tagalaguna dyan. Okay. So, ayaw mag-pull up ng aking slides. Okay. Sige. Sorry naman po sa inconvenience. Okay. Ayan, si Melanie, taga Laguna. So, sama sa Laguna. Ayan, taga Kalamba. Ayan. Ako po ay taga Binyan. Ayan. Okay. Ayaw pa din. Okay, nakakainis na. Okay, I don't wanna keep you waiting, but um, let me just get the slides kasi ayaw niya po. I think at um, ngayon pong ECQ, no, medyo, um, ano na talaga, medyo mahina na talaga yung internet because a lot of people are staying at home and a lot of them is using the internet at home, right? Lalo na sa gabi, so na-experience namin yan kasi kalaban na natin yung mga, um, you know, taga, taga cause of it. But that's fine. At least we're all staying at home, right? So...
Okay, so yeah, maybe I think I'll just, um, ito na lang kung PDF ang aking may ipapakita sa inyo ngayon because it's not really, um, ayaw pong mag-download. Ang aking presentation, pasensya na po. Uh, meron ba tayong mga newbies dyan? Ayan, marami pa tayong mga newbies today because um, we, um, yan, um, this introduction is um, actually meant for newbies, no? Para po talaga sa mga newbies. Um, especially if you want to, eh, kung nalilito pa po kayo kung paano kayo magsisimula um, ng um, online jobs, right? So, ayan. So, okay. So, let me just... Um, share my screen. Okay, so I hope nakikita niyo po yung screen ko. Let me know kung hindi po. Ayan, pasensya na po kayo kasi it's going to be, um, you know, like a PDF style. <laughs> PDF style po, ano? Kasi ayaw po niya na mag-pull up. Okay, ayaw po mag-pull up ng aking mga. So, ayan. Anong hiyan pala lang po. So, ayan. Yeah. Can you see? Yeah, marami pa tayong newbies. Ayan. Okay, so, um, and I hope nandito rin po yung mga nag-enroll for me, Tash, yeah? So, since we're still waiting for our training day, um, I hope you're also watching this so that you'll have, you know, um, like an overview of what we are going to do on our training. Okay, so welcome again everyone to the introduction to virtual assistants. Um, I hope na rin niyo po ako. Is it loud and clear po ba yung aking, ano, aking audio? Yes, hello Mildred. Yes, yeah, see you on the training. Okay, loud and clear naman po, no? Okay, yeah. So for today, um, this will be our outline. Okay, so first we'll have a trainer's introduction and I will discuss the following. So what is a VA? Overview of the tasks of a VA, the tools used by a VA in each niche, okay? Um, soft skills needed, hard skills or technical skills um, that is needed for um, from a VA. Um, shift schedules and time zones, salary rates, uh, payment schedules and modes of payments. And of course, uh, feel free to ask questions there. Okay? So, ayan ang kita ko na po. Thank you so much, loud and clear. Alright? Okay. So, um, so let's, uh, sorry. Yeah. So, ayan. So, um, I'm gonna introduce myself para po dun sa mga newbies na hindi pa po nakakilala sa akin. Um, so, I'm Christine Levine and of course, I am the General Virtual Assistance Trainer or the GVA Trainer uh, for FH Moms. And I'm currently working as an administrative and digital marketing VA, and I've been doing this for three years. So I started in 2017, and actually, ang una ko po talagang um, trabaho or nakuhang online job is an ESL teacher. So back then, ano lang po ako nun, um, part-time lang yung pagiging ESL teacher ko kasi meron pa po ako trabaho nun sa BPO. And um, well, I venture into, you know, like teaching kasi I'm a licensed teacher po for secondary education. Hindi lang mo halata. <laughs> Hindi lang mo halata na ako ay teacher. Pero um, I never really practiced po talaga na uh, maging teacher yun sa school. Hindi ko po talaga siya na-practice. Pero, ayun. Um, I think, but I think I um, na-practice ko naman po siya um, when it comes to, you know, being a trainer because I've worked in the PBO call center um, industry for 13 years. So, yung late, I, sorry. Yung latest po niyan is I'm a process trainer for four years for, you know, um, like an insurance company. Um, and then before that, uh, the customer service team po ako um, for five years. Ayan. And then yung pinakauna ko po trabaho while I'm, you know, taking, um, after graduation and taking the board exam is data entry special. So, four years din po ako na. So, medyo matatagal po ako dito next day sa mga company ito. Okay, and then before I really um, tried and I really switched to um, working online. So, ayan po ang aking background. So, meron pa tayo dito mga um, call center, galing din sa call center. Ayan na, gusto mag-switch to um, you know, freelancing. 
Ayan. Oh, yes. Yes. See you on the training. Yeah, thank you so much to sa mga um, see you on the training. <laughs> sa mga, ano. So, ayan. So, ayan. So, yan po ang aking profile. Hi, sorry. Okay, so let's discuss now what is a virtual assistant. And I'm pretty sure narinig yun naman na din po siya and, um, you know, nakita niyo na din po dito sa mga posts natin sa group. But let's still, um, you know, discuss it. So a virtual assistant is an independent contractor who, who provides um, administrative, digital, and technical services to clients while operating outside the client's office or while working remotely. Okay, so naka-highlight po dyan yung ating independent contractor because uh, we don't consider ourselves as employee. Okay, hindi po tayo para nakakonect sa company. Although, uh, meron po mga agencies, okay, na they handle a pool of VAs, pero still you're not considered as, a, as their employee. So you're still working for them as an independent contractor. Parang hawak ka lang po nila uh, within their agency, but still you're not you know, like the employee, okay? So, ayun po siya. So, um, independent contractor tayo because we are offering our services directly to our clients and of course, we're working remotely kaya tayo siya tinawag na virtual assistant. So, we're basically the same with, you know, um, executive assistant, admin assistant. Yeah. So, a uh, broad or general, um, uh, general, what they call it, um, <laughs> like terminology of virtual assistant kasi yun po talaga yung umpisa niya, okay? So, ayan. So, ito po yung tasks, no? Isa-isa lang, no? Eh. Malami pong tasks yung isang virtual assistant since uh, being a virtual assistant is yun yun, very broad po talaga siya. Um, so, malami po tayong tasks. So, first is for administrative. So, ito yung mga gagawin natin for administrative tasks. So, we have the email or inbox uh, management, then we also have calendar management. Uh, we also have file management, research and data entry, and documentation. So it's basically the same though. If you are, um, if you have worked as an admin assistant before, pareho lang naman din po ng ginagawa. Or if you work as an executive assistant, pareho din po ng gagawin. Um, the difference would be the tools that we'll be using. Okay, kasi most of the tools that we'll be using on these tasks um, is online. Okay, so iba po ito doon sa nakasanayan natin. Okay? And then, meron din pa rin po. So, hindi lang yung admin. Okay? Meron pa tayong gagawin na... Ayan. So, um, if you are a virtual assistant for digital marketing, so you'd also do social media management or marketing. Um, you also do website or blog management, content writing, SEO, email marketing, CRM management, and sales funneling. So, um, kung ang business po na magiging client niyo is um, it surrounds around, you know, like digital marketing. So, ito po yung mga gagawin natin. Okay? So, yun nga po, as a VA, pwedeng nag-social media ka din, pwedeng nag-content writing ka din. So, though, mapapansin nyo po, itong mga courses, itong mga courses, itong mga tasks po na nakalista dito is we have like, you know, like a mastery or we call this a niche, yung specialization ninyo. Pero kung ikaw ay VA or like a general virtual assistant po talaga, um, you'll also be handling this tasks. Okay, so parang hawak mo talaga. You are the jack of all trades. Okay? So yan po sa digital marketing. Um, meron naman po tayo when it comes to... Oh my gosh, ayaw na niyang Ayan. So real estate din po, if you will be a real estate virtual assistant, so you'll do the following task. You'll be doing um, appointment setting, lead generation, uh, transaction coordinator or coordination, and property management. So yung appointment setting po, um, if you've heard, meron po tayong separate, you know, like, um, meron yung mga hiring, no, na, you uh you will be doing some cold calling or you will be some inbound call so part po yon appointment setting hindi lang po siya yung basta um you know nag, nag appointment ka or you're just using the calendar but this one is i'm sorry hindi pa pa pala okay. so yun nga po um appointment setting and lead generation so yeah um usually this is the, what you'll do for real estate kasi yun po yung ginagawa ng um yun po yung ginagawa ng VA, okay, in real estate, 
speaking and attraction coordinator ito naman po yung ginagawa um, with the documents no yung mga titles ayan mga mortgages titles and property management mostly handling of airbnbs uh, mga mga napaparenta ng property ng condo and also yun po yung ginagawa okay other real estate and then for yeah, for e-commerce naman, so if you will be an e-commerce virtual assistant, these are just some. Okay, some lang po kasi mas mahal, marami pa rin po cover yung um, e-commerce na VA. Okay, so you'll do product listing, you'll be managing a Shopify store. So usually yung mga e-commerce clients po natin, uh, they handle a store. Okay. And then we also have the inventory update. So, ayan, isa din po yung sa mga gagawin nyo. So, if they are, you know, like, um, since they have a store or kung nag-drop shipping sila, so, kailangan nyo i-update yung inventory um, of the website. Okay? Wait lang po, may, may commercial na naman. <laughs> so, yung mga may mga fur babies dyan. No? Talaga, kung kailan na gano'n ka sa kasi nila gigingan yan. Okay, anyway, so ayan po yung mga task na virtual assistant under, um, in each niche. Okay, so let's now discuss the tools. Ayon yung lumipat, okay. So the tools used by a virtual assistant. So mostly naman po, um, itong mga tools na ginagamit natin is hindi lang si virtual assistant na gumagamit. So actually, lahat kasi to online. So um, pwede rin siya gamitin ng iba pa, Okay. So, for communication, so, um, if you don't have them yet, um, mas maganda po na meron na po kayo ito para ready na kayo pagpasok. So, we use Skype. So, si Skype, mapapansin nyo po to every time there would be like an interview, um, Skype mo na yung hinihingi. No? So, if you have like an Upwork account, I think, makikita nyo po to na hinihingi nila yung Skype account, right? Or you connect them through Skype and this is where the interview will happen. Um, in ESL din po, isa rin ito sa tools na ginagamit um, for interview and also for your students. So, kung hindi gumagana yung isang application, you'll use Skype, okay? And then, uh, we also have Zoom. So, ito si Zoom, medyo mabenta si Zoom ngayon, right? Since most of us are staying at home and we're doing some conferences. So, si Zoom maganda rin po siya for web conferences, um, for team meetings, ayan. So, for also for, you know, like, live streaming to to Facebook. So, ayan din po. Maganda siyang ganito. Okay? Si Google Hangouts, ayan. Si Google Hangouts na andyan lang po yan. Kung meron kayong Gmail account, you just click on, you know, like, the square. Uh, meron po tayo Google Hangouts. And you can also use this with your client. So, mostly po si client, kapag binigyan niya kayo ng, uh, kapag naka-Gmail or naka-G-Switch siya, Usually, you'll communicate through Google Hangouts, okay? Uh, and also, if you have like an Android phone, meron din po yung Google, Google Hangouts. So, you can also use that for video calling, okay? Um, and then Slack. So, ito po ay parang uh, messenger, okay? Parang ito yung equivalent ng messenger. Um, so, this is good for um, teams, no? Yung, kung may yung client yung nag-handle ng teams. Um, so, you, you can create different channels, you know, kapag, bawa, meron lang kayo certain group na um, kailangan na, ano, so hindi na kayo magsa-separate. Nandun lang kayo sa isang workspace and then um, you can group yourselves into sa Slack. So maganda rin po siya, it can also be downloaded on your phone. So mostly naman po ito, pwede yun sa phone. Okay, so just in case, hindi pwede sa computer or may karoon ng trouble with your desktops or laptops, Pwede po sa phone. Pero usually kung interview, okay, I suggest na mag-desktop na lang po tayo. Okay? And then for admin tasks, so ito lang po is mga konti lang ito. Okay? So Office 365, so meron pa po tayo mga clients na gumagamit na Office 365. Um, and then of course, in Gmail, ayan, meron pa rin naman po niya. Okay? Um, and then G Suite, so ito po, ito talaga for business. Si G Suite, for business po talaga siya. So, um, kapag naka-G-suite po yung client nyo, um, eventually they will be giving you um, like an account no, with G-suite using their domain name. So that when you're emailing the clients, you'll be like, it will show that you're part of that company. Okay, you'll, you'll be carrying their domain name. Okay, and then of course Yahoo. So yung client ko po kasi gumagawin pa rin siya ng Yahoo. 
um, is the business accountant. So, yeah, pwede niyo pong gamitin niya for emailing, uh, for email, or inbox management. Okay? Um, and then we also have your for task management tools. So, we have Trello, uh, we have Asana, we have LastPass, Time Doctor, and Tago. So, si Time Doctor po and si Tago, these are used for uh, productivity. So, pag-track po ng time. Okay? And, you know, your whole productivity. So, marami pa pong ibang tools na ginagamit para doon, but this is just, uh, these are just some of the examples, okay? And then, si last pass, um, I believe this is very important nowadays. So, important na alam niyo pong gamitin to si last pass kasi this is where the clients will share uh, their passwords. I sorry naman po, ang gulo ng slides ko. Yeah, this is where the client will share their passwords um, and login details without giving you, you know, Ah, sorry. So LastPass is going to be used by the client to share with you their login details without providing you their password. So, syempre medyo, um, medyo ano na sila sa security. So, um, LastPass na lang yung ginagamit. Okay? And then Asana and Trello, these are task management. So, this is where the client will, um, you know, put in the tasks and assign it to you. Okay, so dito din po sila makukuha. Hindi na siya isa-send via email, right? So you'll just see, lalo na sa mga project-based. So yun, doon mo nalang kukunin yung task, okay? Um, and then for social media management, if you'll, do this, if you'll be uh, doing social media management, so these are the tools. So of course, uh, kapag na social media management ka, you have to know how to use the social media channels, which I know everyone is using. So... Facebook. So, hindi lang si Facebook. Kailangan marunong ka rin mag-Instagram or IG. Okay? Pasensya na po. Hindi may nakalang space. IG. And then Twitter. So, may mga clients pa rin po tayo um, gumagamit na rin yun ng Twitter for their businesses. Uh, Pinterest. Ayan. Sobrang ano din siya ngayon. LinkedIn. And I forgot to add, TikTok is also used um, nowadays, you know, as a social media medium. Um, to grow your followers, to sell your products. So, sa mga, I know a lot of us have been trying out TikTok. So, makikita niyo rin po um, na, you know, ginagamit nila yung TikTok. Okay? So, scheduling apps. So, ito po makakapagpagaan uh, ng ating task, right? Kasi you only have to schedule all the contents that you'll be doing for this um, social media accounts. And then, magpo-post na po yan dun sa ating um, accounts, right? So, we have your Hootsuite, Later, Buffer. Uh, marami pa po yung iba for Pinterest. Um, it's Tailwind, yeah? So, ginagamit po si Tailwind para mag-post, uh, or schedule ng post for Pinterest. Um, and a lot more, okay? So, ito po mga example lang po ito, okay? And then, uh, for creating social media posts, uh, we also have Canva. So, ayan, kita nyo naman po na we're always promoting Canva and we have lots of images uh, that we can use right now and templates, no? So, yeah, si Canva po. And then Photoshop. So, ito si Photoshop if, you know, kailangan na high, um, high res or high resolution talaga ng mga graphics, then you'd be using Photoshop as well, okay? And then, meron pa po tayo niya. Ayan. For website management naman, so as VA, you will be um, using WordPress. Kung yun po yung platform ng inyong client. But mostly, uh, clients is using, you know, WordPress. Kasi mas yun po talaga yung convenient and mas uh, appropriate for, you know, digital marketing. And then we have Shopify. So kung... So, e-com po kayo mapupunta, Shopify po yung ginagamit nilang store, then you'd be, you know, doing the back end or you'd be updating, you'd be managing the back end of the Shopify uh, web, uh, website, okay? And then also, you'd be able to use team builders that are used for the website and um, as well as different blog aids, okay? So, meron din tayo for email marketing and CRM management. So, ito yung tools na ginagamit. So, ito po, Maraming marami pa pong ibang klase ng email marketing platform and CRMs na ginagamit sa online world, okay? But this um, tools that I'm showing you here are the most common na ginagamit. So, si MailChimp, ayan, 
si Melchick po, pinaka-common na ginagamit, si Active Campaign as well, which is actually good for um, email automation. Um, and then the C for the CRM, si HubSpot, and, and si Entreport. Okay. So, ayan po ang mga ginagamit natin. Uh, uh, yeah. Those are just some of the tools na ginagamit ng isang virtual assistant. Okay. So, let's go to the next slide. Nakantok po ba? <laughs> Parang ako, pili ko inaantok ako. <laughs> okay. So, Okay, sa client maximize. Yeah, kasi marami pa po. Meron pa po free email marketing. I think this is the, yung medyo matunog ngayon, which is um, Clayvio. Clayvio, I think if, I'm not sure if you've heard of that. But yeah, sabi nila maganda raw yun for email marketing as well. Okay, so ito na po yung mga soft skills na kailangan ng virtual assistant. And I think this is very important for us to know um, para alam natin kung ano yung expect natin, right? Kung ano yung um, kailangan natin yung work on aside from having those, you know, from knowing all those tools, from knowing all those tasks, kailangan din po natin itong soft skills, um, you know, for as for being a virtual assistant. So first is good communication skills. And again, I'd like to reiterate na hindi po kailangan na maging fluent, okay? Um, hindi po kasi tayo magiging fluent talaga because English is just our second language. But, of course, we have the experts, di ba? Meron naman po mga experts when it comes to grammar and, you know, um, when it comes to communication skills. So, meron po po. Pero, for us, hindi naman po kailangan na fluent, maging fluent tayo, okay? So, good communication skills is good enough, meaning, um, you can communicate with your client clearly that the client would be able to understand you and the client uh, or and you will be able to understand your client. Okay? So, yun na naman po yung importante at ang gusto ng client is yung naiintindihan, nakakaintindihan ko yung dalawa. Okay? And of course, kaakibat ng communication skills ay active listening skills. So, syempre, you have to really listen carefully or you have to really listen um, actively to your client whenever they're giving you instructions, kahit ba via voice message lang yan, or via web conferences. So ako, I, I always make note. So pag medyo, you know, syempre mahirap po eh, no? lalo na kung meron silang accent, hindi mo masyado maintindihan. So what I do is, I record, okay? Nagre-record po talaga ako minsan para I can go back to that recording kung hindi ko man naisulat lahat. Kasi you can take notes, okay? We can take notes while listening, and I know we can do that, mga momshies, no? Kasi makaya natin mag-multitask. Eh. Pero, uh, pag talaga medyo mahirap na balikan, di ba? So, back up, mag-record din. So, ako yung nag-record din ako. And then, I just go back, okay? And then, next is good attention to detail. So, makikita niyo po yan, lagi po yan nakalagay um, sa mga job posts na, you know, require parang... Uh, requirements nila na you have attention, uh, good attention to detail kasi syempre clients would be able to check your work every now and then. So parang uh, sila titignan lang nila um, you know, how you work, kung ano yung maging angkel ng trabaho mo pero you are really the one who's gonna be paying attention to that. So you have, you need to have like good attention to details. Okay? Time management skills. So yes, kailangan din po to kasi bilang pinakita ko po yung maraming task, right? So, kung gano'ng kadami yung task mo, kailangan ma-manage mo mabuti on how you'd be doing all those tasks, um, right, within your shift or kung ano yung binigay na timeline, and yet, okay? Uh, project management skills, so of course, you'd be doing lots of projects, so you also need to have um, good project management skills. And I think tayo mga nanay, kaya, kaya naman natin yun, you know? Uh, marong mahilig ma... Kaya-kaya natin mag-organize. Yeah, right? Okay. And good research ability. So, mostly po kasi ng mga trabaho din talaga ngayon online is you'd be doing research. Okay? So, okay, hindi lang si Google yung pwede natin pag-researchan. Marami pa po iba. Okay? So, kailangan ma... Ano tayo na... Ma-widen tayo ng ating pag-research. Okay? And then we also have to be proactive or we also need to have like assertive attitude. So, ito po, ito talaga yung gusto nila na, let's say, um, you submitted um, 
like a document or your project to your client and then hindi pa siya nagre-reply. So pag hindi pa rin po siya nagre-reply, kailangan makulit ka na, uy, may pinapacheck ako sa'yo, do you have any any comments, uh, any approval, ganyan. So kailangan proactive ka or kapag wala ka nang gagawing task, let's say you have finished all your tasks and you still have remaining hours. So uh, hanap ka na ibang gagawin, hindi pwedeng petics, okay? <laughs> hindi pwedeng petics. So minsan, hindi naman natin may iwasan na nakakalimutan din natin siya. I mean, you know, minsan parang gusto mong mag-relax. Pero that's fine. Pero yun nga, ito po yung isa sa inaasahan sa ating client na we keep on following up, we keep on, you know, reminding them kasi we are their assistants, okay? <sighs> Soft skills pa <laughs> well, okay? And then we also have the hard skills or what we call, ay, mali pala yung hard skills or technical skills ko. So, sorry. Um, anyway, for hard skills naman po, ang importante lang is that uh, we would be able to learn how to be tech, tech savvy, okay? So, I know... Um, ako din po na nag-start ako, hindi ako techie, okay? Parang, I don't know how to use this tool. Ang alam ko lang po gamitin is Office 365 because that's what we've used. Um, and of course, yung mga MS Office, right? So MS Words, Excel, si PowerPoint. So, you don't really know how to use all other tools, even Skype. Hindi pa po ako marunong nun ng Skype. Kaya nag-start po ako nun sa ASL teacher lang muna talaga kasi I'd like to... Um, you know, para gusto ko lang muna magkaroon ng um, background or mag-grasp ko muna kung ano talaga yung ginagawa. So, yun. We need to learn how to be tech savvy as one of the hard skills. Um, also, isa pa po is um, you should know how to um, well, madali naman po sa atin ngayon. No? So, I, I think yung ako lang <laughs> start ako. Uh, medyo nahirapan ako nun talaga. And I think it's important as well that you are um, computer literate. Maybe you know, you know how to do the back ends and all. So, yun lang. Yun lang naman po yung pinak-hard skills na kailangan na with Rosen. I'm so sorry about my slide. Uh, I think it wasn't changed, no? So, sorry about that. But yeah, for hard skills, yung, aside from the skills that I mentioned earlier, we need to learn how to be tech savvy. And don't worry. Lahat naman po na ginagamit natin tools online is friendly, no? Kahit po yung paggawa ng website ngayon ay super dali na. Matututunan nyo po talaga kahit na wala kayong background with IT and all. So, matututunan nyo po yan. Okay? Um, and then next, ayaw nyo na yan. So, tanawang po siya shift schedule. So, we have different kinds of um, shift schedule. So, I think I forgot to add yung UK. But, yeah. So, kung gusto nyo po ng day shift, meron tayo Australian clients and I think yung Iceland, uh, New Zealand, sorry. New Zealand, ayan. So, day shift po sila kasi they are like just two hours ahead from our time. So, yun lang. Medyo maaga na tayo magkatrabaho. So, let's say it's your, your shift is like 8 a.m. Australian time, right? Or Australian time zone. So, you'd be working um, like at 6 a.m., right? So, yeah. And then for night shift, so ito yung madalas, yung pinakamarami po kliyente talaga is, is in the U.S. So, mostly it will be night shift or graveyard shifts. And I indicated here yung mga time zones, okay, na cover ng ating client. So, kapag Eastern time zone, that's, um, we are 12 hours ahead from them. So, that means if it's like 3.36 p.m. here, it's 3 a.m. sa kanila. Okay? 3 a.m. 3.36 a.m. Okay? So, basta just add 12 hours. And then, if it's the central time zone, so 13 hours. So, for us, it's 3.36 p.m. sa kanila, 2.36 a.m. So, ganyan po siya. For mountain time zone, 14 hours. So, you just add 14 hours to our time. So, I guess it's like 1.36, right? And then, see, Pacific time zone, so ito yung pinaka-graveyard talaga, okay? Uh, it's plus 15 hours, so ahead tayo sa kanila ng 15 hours. So, meaning, if you'll be starting your shift, let's say, at 8 a.m. or 9 a.m., you will be starting at around 12 um, midnight or 1 a.m. So, ganun po siya, okay? So, yun, dati nagkaroon po ako ng client na naka-Pacific time zone, pero they don't require us to work 
on their hour. So, pero minimit namin sila sa umaga. So, like 7 o'clock in the morning, um, that's what we have our shift um, and our meeting, which is like 3 p.m. sa kanila, mga ganun. Okay? So, yeah. So, dito naman po sa salary rate, payment schedule, and payment method. Um, so, ito po yung idea. Okay? So, for newbies, um, we can rate for like 3 to 5 per hour. Pero meron naman po na nag-start na agad ng $5 per hour. Okay? So, and okay lang po yun. Kasi, let's say, uh, we graduated from the training, right? Uh, pwede na kayo mag magpresyo ng, ano, ng mataas. Kasi, marami naman na kayong skills. Okay? Or, if you, if um, it's like a monthly, um, payment or salary, $400 monthly is the basic. Okay, uh, and if, if you are experienced already, so you can read um, $6 to $10 per hour. Okay, so ako po na nag-start ako, nilagay ko sa Upwork ko is $10 agad. Okay, kasi may fee si Upwork. Okay, so talaga din ito ka na uh, $10 agad. Okay, <laughs> para kasi pag bumawas ng fee, at least di ba, may matitirap sa akin, it's like 20% 20 na fee. So, you know. Para hindi naman lugi, okay? Or kung monthly naman yung rate, so you can rate up to $600 to $1,000 monthly. Actually, medyo mababa pa natin kung marami ka talaga ang gagawin. Um, pero, you know, for us, okay na po yan. Lalo na nag-start ako. Ako, naka, para nakaka $100 lang ako, masaya na po ako. Dun. Kasi syempre, di ba, you won't get that naman po. Uh, you won't get, get that anywhere. Kahit sa SAP, kakumugod pa ako. Sorry na. <laughs> Sorry na. Okay. So, payment schedule. So, pwedeng weekly. Ito po yung favorite ko na weekly na sumasahod. Also, we have the bi-monthly, meaning twice a month. So, meron din mga 15, uh, 15, 30. Meron din na mga 5 and 20, mga ganun po. Okay? Depende kay client. Or monthly. Okay? So, um, itong monthly konti lang naman po yan. Usually, by monthly talaga siya and weekly yung siyo sa akin. No? Um, and then, uh, mode of payment. So, um, client would be able to give your salary through PayPal, Payoneer, TransferWise, and Zoom. So, si wire, si TransferWise po and si Zoom are like uh, wire transfer. No? So, um, si Zoom, you don't have to create an account. You just have to give them your details. Uh, si TransferWise, I think medyo komplikado siya ngayon. You have to create an account for you to give them like the routing number para makuha mo po yung salary. Okay? So, ayan. And then, so after po nito, mag-ano na po ako ng questions. If you have questions, just write it down on the comments, no? Para mabalikan po natin. At ayun ulit ng aking slide. Okay. Ay, ayun na pala yan. Okay. So, yun, do you have any questions po before I discuss yung course topics po natin for general virtual assistance? May questions po ba kayo with, you know, different tasks, tools? So, I'm not sure po updated itong aking. <laughs> Di yata updated to aking nasa Facebook. <laughs> Ayan. So, thank you po din po sa mga bagong dating. Thank you so much for joining me to uh, this afternoon. So, I know nakakaantok to oras na to. And I hope hindi kayo inaantok sa aking bosses, no? Uh, but yeah, I hope uh, marami kayo natutunan. Okay? So, sige po, may questions po kayo, lagay niyo lang sa comments and then pwede po natin siyang balikan. Okay? Um, and then, so for the general virtual assistance training, this would be the topics that we'll be discussing. So we have the administrative, the social media management, website management. Uh, we also have the basic real estate and lead generation. And then we have the email marketing, CRM management, and basic sales funnel. So ito po yung to cover natin uh, with the general virtual assistance course. So... Um, so, ano, ang tawag ba? Ayan, ayan po. I-cover po natin lahat yan. And each topic, you'd be doing different kinds of activities as well. Okay? So, para ma-practice nyo po talaga siya. 
Okay, so I know medyo marami siya, pero I swear, um, lahat po na dumaan just sa training na yan, kunyari na sila naghihirapan, okay? But uh, they, they, they did a good job and they were able to really uh, practice na gamitin lahat ng tools, okay? Yeah, so what to expect from the training? So we have four to five weeks of online training, okay? And then we'll have a bi-weekly online meeting. So via Zoom po ito. So kung wala pa kayong Zoom, pwede kayong gumawa ng account through Zoom kasi it's free. And then we'll just provide you the meeting link. No? So especially sa mga trainees ko, guys, gawa na kayo ng Zoom account. Okay? Um, and then for, uh, we, you will also be navigating and you will, able to, you will be able to use the different tools and applications na ginagamit ng VA. Kasi gagamitin niyo po talaga siya and um, you would be creating account. So, yung naman po ang ipapagamit ko sa inyong tools, free naman po siya. No? Wala naman po akong ipapagamit sa inyo na you have to subscribe. Okay? Lahat po siya free. You can create your own free account and, um, you know, like yung past mga students po or past trainees, they were able to use that. Na nabigay po nila yun sa client nila to uh, you know, to accept their tasks, to, you know, get the um, assignments or projects. So, yeah, magagamit yung po lahat. Okay, and again, you'll be having activities in each topic kasi yun po yung pinaka-hands-on natin. So, um, kaya, ano, kailangan ma-i-apply nyo siya. Kasi sobrang dami, makakalimutan nyo po siya kapag, di ba? Ako po, kagaya ko po kasi, I'm a visual and kinesthetic uh, learner. So, mas gusto ko po yung nakikita ko siya and na uh, na-navigate ko din. So, ganun din po yung gagawin natin. So, di ba, mas matututo tayo if you're already using it. Okay? And then, of course, uh, dito sa course natin, on the fifth or uh, fourth week and fifth week, no, uh, we will be uh, guiding you or we will be discussing how to create your resume or update your resume. Okay? We'll be creating a portfolio and online profile. So, I think kasi after the course, pwede naman, or during the course, actually, pwede na kayo mag-apply. Kasi, kung marami na kayo natutunan, pwede nyo na ilagay yung sa resume ninyo. Okay, pero ito para din sa mga hindi pa ready. Yan. Um, meron po tayong allotted week to do all this. Okay? The resume, the portfolio, the online profiles, as well as the video introduction, which is really important nowadays. Okay? So, we will be guiding you on those and also uh you know from the past um months kung nakikita nyo po yung dati na yung nakikita nyo po dati na meron kami mga mock interview so that's also included in our training so pwede po tayo mag mock interview para ma-practice po kayo okay so balikan ko yung questions and na may questions na what do you use to make email signature? Canva lang po. Okay. Canva, yung ginagamit ko uh, for email signature. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay lang po ba? Core i5, 2 gigram, gamitin ko sa training natin. Yes! Pwede naman po yun sa training natin. Pero I suggest kapag po nag-work na kayo, um, taas po natin yung RAM. Okay? Kasi 4 gig po yung um, 4 gig po yung minimum. Okay, na requirement. So, pero ako sa training, okay lang po yan. Is there a training from the client if you're hired? Yes, meron pa rin naman po. Kasi, uh, bibigyan nila kayo ng access, di ba, sa mga tools nila. So, uh, bibigyan pa rin nila kayo. Train, itatrain pa rin nila kayo kung paano gamitin yun. Or, and usually, okay, so that's why we are already, you know, training you guys on how to follow or, you know, how to follow the instructions via video or video trainings, ganyan. Kasi, or training videos. Kasi gano'n na rin po yung gagawin sa inyong client. So, puro training videos. Hindi nyo na kayo in-meet. So, maybe the client would be just giving you the video on how to do this task and then follow nyo na lang siya. So, gano'n po yung gagawin. Yung iba, um, you know, like maybe you'll meet once a week and then we discuss yun sa ito kung ano yung gagawin. Um, and then, okay. Uh, is it okay po Zoom account through mobile phone? Yes, okay lang naman po. Um, ako kasi meron din ako Zoom sa phone, okay. 
Pero kung if you are gonna be having an interview or if you'll be having like a meeting with your client, so mas formal po na nasa desktop tayo. Okay? Um, okay, so si Mami Janice. Oh, say the analyst of legal docs and real estate docs and email chat support. Tama bang John VA bang enroll based on work experience ko? Uh, yes, ma'am. Kasi it's related to um, being a VA talaga. You know, like the admin tasks. So, yeah. That's, that's good po. May specific po ba yung class every day or weekly meeting lang po yung specific pen? Um, yeah, so the, the courses or the course or the training videos are self-paced po. So, um, it, kayo, po yung, kayo po yung may hawak ng oras kung kailan nyo siya gusto panoorin. Uh, within the day, we don't really give a schedule. Basta bibigyan lang po kayo namin ng access on the training videos and then um, you watch it on your own. I mean, on your own time, right? And then magsaset lang po tayo ng online meetings to discuss if you have questions with the uh, videos, also to discuss the activities, okay? So, kung halimbawa po, ito na po yung araw na, bawa, uh, we'll be meeting today, okay? Tapos nag-post na ako ng videos, um, you know, like two days ago. So, kung hindi nyo pa po siya napapanood upon our online meeting, okay lang naman po, pero mas maintindihan nyo po kasi activity kung napanood nyo na yung training videos. Okay, so again, it's self-paced uh, para matuto na din po kayo na ganun din po kasi yung gagawin ni client. Okay, so and I think most of the courses naman, online na din talaga. And it's training video. So, you know, maganda practice po siya. Okay, so any other questions? Wala pa naman? Okay. So, ayan. What do you get from the training? So, aside from the limited access to training videos, ayan. Meron din po tayo coaching and support um, related to the course um, and also means as a job application na rin. So, yeah, we give support naman. And um, we also have, we will be also giving you course certificate. Okay, course certificate. Um, you know, like completion, okay, and attendance. So, kung hindi po matatapos yung course, I mean, the training or your activities, then we can just give you like the certificate of attendance. Okay, kasi importante po sana na matapos natin yung training or makomplete natin lahat ng activities para hindi rin sayang yung enrollment natin. Diba? Kahit na po sa ibang mga uh, mga um, courses, um, if you're not done, or kapag hindi mo nasagot yung assessment, diba? hindi mo rin makukuha yung certificate. Okay? Um, also, you have access to the alumni group. So, meron po tayo virtual assistants alumni group um, and FHMOS online university group. So, anong meron dito sa groups na ito? Dito po kami nagpo-post ng mga job postings. Okay? So, um, meron, minsan po kasi may mga clients kami na nagahanap ng VA. So, um, ako, syempre, una ito yung mga alumni, right? Pinapost ko doon sa alumni group kung sino yung may gusto. Um, also, doon sa FHMOS Online University group din natin. So, once you enroll on the training, we'll be inviting you to join the group. And then, marami din po tayo mga job posting doon. Where, you know, syempre, mas priority po kayo na makapag-enroll doon. Okay? So, sabi po ni V, ayan, Admin trainer, ako, I'm not techie savvy sa tools that you mentioned. Attending this help me out and finding land an online job. I believe so. Kasi po, uh, marami na po no, na hindi din talaga techie. And like me, ako din naman po, hindi rin po talaga ako techie talaga. Pero once you, you know, once you know or once you have used these tools, madali na po na makapasok kayo. Kasi most of the tools that are used um, in this training or that will be discussed on this training ay ginagamit po talaga ng VA. Ako, ako po, ginagamit ko po siya. Like the Asana, the Trello, um, MailChimp. So, may client po ako na gumagamit pa rin ng MailChimp. No? Kahit na marami ng ibang, um, you know, email marketing tool, the active campaign, meron din po ang client na gumagamit nun. So, magagamit niyo po, yes. Magagamit niyo po siya. And, yeah, that will help you. So, if, um, uh, so, kung kung newbie po kayo. So, meron po akong um, estudyante noon, no, na 
tinanong lang siya, di you know how to use Asana, di you know how to use Trello. So, lahat po yun, meron na siya. So, nagtaka yung client na, parang wala sabi yung newbie ka, eh, pero meron ka ng, you know, you know all the tools. So, madali na po sa kanya, nakapa, nakatapos na siya, uh, I mean, nakakuha na siya ng client. Okay? What is the best job title to put in OLJ or Upwork to attract employees? Sorry. If I want a position showcasing my real estate knowledge and my credit and collection back experience. Uh, well, uh, safest or best job title, um, you can say real estate VA, pero um, your real estate po kasi is different from the, you know, yun, kung dito po siya base, ha, it's different from the one in the U.S. So, pwede nyo naman po siya na um, gawin dalawa. So, you can say virtual assistant, okay? And then you mention all your experiences on the, um, I think meron din yung parang summary, okay? Summary po ng inyong skills. So, skill summary, I think, yeah. So, you can put your title as a virtual assistant or a real estate virtual assistant um, and then you since you have like a credit and collection bank experience, then maybe around financial something. So, so yun. Tapos lagi nyo lang po siya sa skill summary. Kasi usually naman, ang importante po doon is yung skills na nakalagay doon sa online profile. Okay? So, tulad ko po mag po ako kaso wala pang gamit. Malilate ako sa activity ko makakakuha pa din pa ako ng activity. That's right. Yes, makakakuha po kayo. Basta po nasubmit nyo na yung activities um, and complete na po kayo lahat, bibigay ko po yung certificate niyo. Okay? Even, let's say, na gradu graduation day na and hindi pa kayo kompleto, may certificate po kayo. Certificate of attendance. Okay? Kasi you're attending the training and let's say, nakapagpasa kayo ng isa lang na activity so, may certificate pa rin po kayo. And then, once, if you want the certificate of completion, bibigay po namin siya. Basta, uh, basta masubmit lahat. Okay? So, required na po ba kami gumawa ng resume cover letter kahit hindi pa kami tapos sa training or class? Uh, well, with the VA training, actually, I don't encourage muna na gumawa ng resume. Okay? Kasi, or kung bagong bago po talaga, hindi mo na ako nag-encourage kasi gusto ko po na madaanan yung lahat no topics and activities para pag nag-update kayo ng resume, uh, malalagay nyo na siya lahat, di ba? Pero if you have, you know, like an existing um, resume already and, you know, feel nyo na na mag-apply, okay lang naman. You can, you can, you know, use that resume and then maybe update it again kapag po natapos na tayo dun sa training. So, hindi ko naman po yung nire-record, okay? Sa so, cover letter. Um, cover letter, I don't really ask the students to um, you know, create a templated cover letter kasi hindi na po siya nag-work na yun. So, yeah, isa po yung sa i-discuss din natin sa training. Okay? May chance po ba kami na ma-hire? Uh, may chance po ba kami na ma-hire just in case kahit no work experience related sa pagiging UBA? Ah, uh, yes, ma'am. So, meron na rin na po, po kasi tayo mga customer service job online. So, you can be like a chat support or email support. Uh, mga ganun. Ako po, wala naman po akong VA experience, uh, but, you know, a client gave me a chance uh, to be her to be her VA. So, ang ginagawa ko po doon sa client ko ngayon is uh, receptionist. So, ang tinanong niya lang sa akin, do you know how to, what's your, ano yung background mo, ano yung work experience mo, uh, do you know how to use this? Ang tinanong niya lang sa akin, kung maroon ako mag-email, so, yes, pwedeng-pwede na po kung wala kang experience. I mean, uh, I mean kung, di ba po, kung gusto mo na mag-apply, you wanna try it out, yeah, it's fine kung wala po experience. Okay, and yes, may chance. May chance po. Okay, so I just wanna show you the success successful graduates of the GBA training this year. So, starting with the January uh, 2020 batch. So, ito pong picture na ito, ito yung nag-meet up kami. Right? And most of them, meron na rin po talagang uh, trabaho right after the training. Okay? That's for January. And these are for February. Ayan, mga nagagandahan. 
<laughs> na mga momshies, right? So, yeah, may mga trabaho na rin po sila after the training. And I think yung iba, even, no, nung nasa training pa po sila, um, meron na, nagkaroon na rin agad sila ng trabaho. Okay, so dinagdagan lang nila, dinagdag na nila yung mga skills na natutunan nila from the training. And of course, the newly graduates from March, so ito po sila. Actually, nakaliwala ko yung isa, John, I'm so sorry, I wasn't able to add your picture anymore, but um, yeah, so si John then she just got hired and I'm so happy for her. Um, kasi talagang, um, you know, nagsikap sila. And then the others, they are still... Um, they are still enrolled to the other courses and they're still on training right now. So, so sobrang sipag nito mga March batch na to. So, ayun, nag-aaral pa po sila before they really, you know, um, apply. So, ayan. So, ayan po yung mga successful, successful graduates po natin from our GVA training. Um, actually, marami pa po. Hindi ko lang po na-add yung pictures kasi hindi na sila nakapag-send yung pictures sa akin. Um, but yeah, yan po yung mga produkto na training. And of course, not just the training po. Ha. Yung training po is for you to be equipped lang dun sa mga kailangan mong skills, sa mga tools na kailangan mong malaman. Pero the applying and of course, yung, um, you know, the application process itself, it would be depend, um, depending on you there. Okay? So kaya meron po tayo mga guide when it comes to creating the resume, writing your cover letter, creating your... Uh, video introduction and of course the interview uh, we mock interview for you to get ready okay kasi syempre po mas maganda na mga experience nyo yung first hand na kayo yung nag -upload. okay kasi it would really feel good pag ganun po siya okay so actually that's it for our um, webinar I hope marami po kayong natutunan and since um, ayan. So, let's see more questions po. Ayan. May chance po ba ako maha... Ay, no, ayun na pala. Marketing specialist for years na. Yes! May chance, big chance to hire as a video. Yes! Super big chance. Especially if you have, you know, the marketing uh, background, if you have sales background, malaking chance po yan kasi you can relate already kung manunog na po kayo kung paano kayo mag-market, right? So, konti ano na lang, konting, um, dagdag na lang ng skills yan, and of course, yung tools. So, yun. Okay. Ayan. Meron pa po ba tayong questions? We still have one minute. So, yun, sa so mga gusto pa po mag-enroll, yes, excited. Thank you. Ha? See you, Raquel. Mm -hmm. So, sa so mga gusto pa po mag-enroll, uh, we still have slots available for a uh, May batch. And again, yung po, fee natin na uh, 3,000 is until May 15 only. So, then after po nun, mag-increase na tayo kasi we'll be transferring over to the new platform. Okay, we're meeting yung po talaga, ano na to, um, high-tech na platform na po to, not the old one na uh, manual pa po. So, ayun, hanggang May 15 na po siya, and then you can also, kung hindi pa po kayo makaka-attend ngayon, May, pwede po yan gamitin on um, June. So, pwede po kayo mag-reserve uh, on June din. Okay? So, yun po, uh, until May 15, um, if you have questions, you can definitely send me a PM. Okay? So, masagot naman po ako, lalo na pag-gising ako. <laughs> okay? And, since I don't, I wasn't able to prefer, uh, to prepare, to prepare, ayan, nabubulo lang po ako, to prepare for a quiz, um, magpapa, ano na lang ako, um, well, um, so, eto, meron pong isang, mag, magbibigay na lang ako ng gift, okay, doon po sa magsasend ng email sa akin, okay, on why, um, very cliche question lang naman, no? so, what's your goal? Parang, um, if you would be a VA, what's your um, goal? Parang yun. So, I'd like to know kung ano po yung gusto nyo maging goal o ano yung gusto nyo gawin kapag kayo po ay naging VA. Or if you'd be given a chance to be a VA, right? Or if you'd be given a chance na, uh, uh, yun nga, maging VA, ano po yung goal ninyo? Okay, ano yung goal ninyo within a year? Um, ano yung gusto nyo makamit? So, uh, for those who would like to answer that question, you can send your answer to christine at fhmoms.com. So, email nyo po sa akin, okay? And I'll be choosing 
um, maybe two, okay, two, um, two respondents, okay, and I will be uh, giving you a gift, okay, para may premium. Ayan. So again, you'll, you can send it to uh, Christine at fhmoms.com. So you Christine po, kita niyo po sa screen with CH po yan. Okay, Christine at fhmoms.com. Wala pong Levine, hindi ko po yan mara-receive pag nalag yan ang Levine. So Christine at fhmoms.com lang po. Okay, so again, if you would be given a chance to be a VA, what would be your goal? Okay, so general goal po tayo. Okay, uh, goal nyo is to increase your income. Or if you want to, you know, like, uh, give back as well, maybe be, be a mystery mom, mga ganyan. pag na kayo as a VA, mga ganyan. Okay? So, yun lang po. Again, thank you so much for joining me on this webinar. Uh, thank you for staying. Thank you for watching. And um, I hope to see you around, mga moms. Um, and, yeah, I hope everyone is safe. So, Marami na po matapos ang ating ECQ, no? pero syempre, we have to be careful as well. So, I I, I will all be uh, hoping for your safety. Okay? So, yun lang po. Thank you so much, everyone. Have a good afternoon. Bye!